Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'd like to show you how to install Akita hardwired smoke and carbon monoxide detector with battery backup and voice alarm. This is going to be a hardwired uh, alarm. It's going to run on 120 volts AC. This is the old alarm right here, which isn't working anymore. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my flute voltage detector. You see it's on because you see the orange red flash every three seconds. And you see the light and the alarm. That's telling you there's, there's hot electricity in the box. So the first thing we have to do is turn the electricity off. Okay, I have turned off the circuit breaker and now I'm going to double check with my fluke voltage detector. See, this time it isn't going off, so we know that the electricity is off. It's a good idea to go around your old alarm with a razor knife so that the paint doesn't peel off. Okay, now you take off the old wiring harness. That's the old wiring harness. Then the mud plate comes off. Right, so now we have a black wire, a white wire, and a ground. Okay, now there's something wrong with this grounding pigtail, also called equipment bonding ground. You see, this is just a regular screw. And by code, you must have a UL listed grounding screw. Okay, I've got a proper uh, grounding pigtail now to bond this metal box. Okay, so there's our grounding pigtail. Before I wire the wiring harness for the alarm, I'm checking the voltage and it's reading 119.5 volts. So we have excellent voltage. Uh, this is a, an important thing to check uh, with a carbon monoxide and fire alarm because if you don't have the proper voltage, your alarm's not going to work properly. So this simple test can actually uh, save people's lives. So make sure you have proper voltage before you get started. Now that I've completed my simple voltage test and turned the circuit breaker back off, I'm going to double check and make sure the electricity is off. So it's my fluke voltage detector and it is off. Okay, I've put the mud ring on. Here's the wiring harness that is going to the new carbon monoxide and fire alarm. You notice it has a, a white wire, a red wire, and a black wire. The red wire is for if you have more alarms down the line. You can have up to at least a dozen. You'd have to check the manual to see if you have more, but uh, I know that it, it said at least a, a 12 alarms on one circuit. But we're not going to be using that in this case because this is a standalone alarm. So we're going to be just simply leaving the red wire alone and I'm going to leave this insulation that they provide on the end of the red wire and just put it in the back of the box. So I'll be putting the black wire to the black wire and the white wire to the white wire. And remember we checked to make sure we had good electricity. So I'm going to use a Wago lever nut. You just uh, lift up these two levers and you put the black wire in there and you can use stranded wire with a Wago lever nut. So you put we put both wires in there and put down the levers. Okay, then we're going to do that to the same thing to the, to the white wire and we're going to push them into the back of the box. Okay, now you just put the uh, various wires back in the back of the box, including the red wire. And we just have our, our wiring harness uh, sticking out like that. We have the wiring harness here and we have the alarm here. You see there's three pins sticking out of the alarm and there's three holes in the wiring harness and you just you hook them up like that and plug it in. See, it clicks into place. Now with the uh, wiring harness uh, plugged into the alarm uh, we make sure all the wires are back there including our red wire. It kind of sets right in there and you twist it there it is. It's installed. Okay, now the next thing to do is to put the batteries in. Now we're going to install the batteries that, that come with the alarm. Notice on the sticker back here, there's a plus and a minus. So the plus is this portion right here, 
and you take it and you put it like that and it has a plus and now close it up push test button turn whoa Now that we've tested the alarm, I'm going to go turn the circuit breaker back on. If you're remodeling, during remodel, you're supposed to put this cover over the alarm. This keeps the dust out of the alarm uh, while you're working, and then after you've done cleaning up, you just take, you take the dust cover back off. And you might want to keep this, this cover uh, in case you're going to be doing some, some dusty, dirty work in the house. You can uh, cover it back up and that keeps your alarm from going off as a nuisance If you keep the dust out of here, it'll work much better I'll put a link for the Kita hardwired smoke and carbon monoxide detector with battery backup and voice alarm in my video description and I'll put links for a variety of battery operated alarms as well I'll also put a link for the fluke voltage detector. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful. Mm -hmm.